Airbags deployed, let's shut this intersection down. A wild crash caught on dash camera video as a suspect drives his car directly under a box truck. And it all started when he sped off from police, leading them on a high-speed chase. Center line's blocking, uh, up in the grass. Just, 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 just parallel, just parallel, just parallel. It begins with a traffic stop in Warren, Michigan on December 26th. Dash camera video shows officers pull over the vehicle for expired plates. The window Hello. broke. Can you put the car in part? Yeah, the part. Uh, so the reason I stopped you is because the plates expired. Uh, the car. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going for work. Oh yeah. Um, is this your car? No, it's my girlfriend. Do okay. you have your license with you? No. no. Registration insurance? I don't have my license. Nothing? When the driver says he doesn't have any ID, officers ask him to step outside. He chooses to ignore their directions and instead just drives off. Uh, what I gotta have you do is just hop off of me real quick, man, just because you don't have your license on here, okay? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Immediately, the chase is on as video captures the suspect speed through a neighborhood and even drive their car through the grass. It's northbound Lawrence. He's in the grass, jumping back down northbound. Uh, dreads? Dreads. 20 short dreads. Head. Heading to 10 mile. But the driver's time on the road was short-lived as he hops the curb again in an effort to avoid the now multiple squads on his tail. Center line's blocking. Uh, it's up in the grass. Just, 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 just parallel, just parallel, just parallel. All right, we got the lead again from center line. He's jumping through the grass uh, just south of 10 and east on Lawrence. Somebody go to Sherwood in uh, 10 miles for me. All right, we're uh, by that apartment complex uh, just east of Sherwood, coming out to 10. All right, west on, west on 10, west on 10. You're good, clear, sorry. Yep, 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 yep. As the chase continues, officers note the suspect is approaching a red light. He's slowing for Ryan. It's a red. He speeds through the light and drives straight under a Penske van. Oh. 50 into a uh, box truck. He's underneath the box truck. Airbags deployed. Let's shut this intersection down. The driver was pronounced dead on the scene. Another crazy crash caught on dash cam, this time out of Georgia. And it happened when the suspect sped off from cops after trying to make a stop at the McDonald's drive through He ran from police with three kids in the car. This happened in Atlanta on December 20th. Officers responded to a shots fired call after a suspect in a gray SUV shot toward a building, narrowly missing people nearby. The suspect was later identified as William Burris. When police got eyes on Burris's vehicle, they followed him into a McDonald's parking lot. He even pulled up into the drive through but wasn't able to get his Happy Meal. When officers tried to pull him over, he sped off. <laughs> Uh, 
You can see in the video, the passenger side door keeps opening as Burris drives around McDonald's. Soon we see why when he comes to a stop and someone jumps out of the front seat. Burris then proves nothing good starts in a getaway car and makes a break for it, leading police on a chase. Video captures him run multiple stop signs and a red light. Finally, as police inch closer, they bump the back of Burris's SUV. The car can be seen flying out of frame. It's only after circling back to this crash that officers realized there had been three kids inside the vehicle all along. Oh my god. When the kids are out safe, officers take Burris into custody. Come on, let's go. Listen, I got you. Hey, man, listen. Just bring it, bring hey, it back. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Let's pull this over. Let's go. I got you. I got you. Stand by. Hey, somebody go back lethal. Right. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. Get the f out. Come on. Come on. Get the f out. Come on. Get the f out. Come on. Get the f out. Officials later learned Burris was a convicted felon who they say had 37 previous arrest cycles. They also found a gun in the vehicle. Burris now faces multiple charges, including fleeing and eluding cruelty to kids, and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. All right, we're going to get back to this body cam in a second, but I want to take a minute to talk about something else that happens all the time. Workplace injuries. If you get hurt at your job, whether it's a slip and fall, a mechanical failure, negligence of your coworkers, something hits you, you're going to need a trusted law firm in your corner. Enter Pond Lee Hockey Giordano, a firm that is a heavyweight in the industry that wins all different kinds of injury cases. Yes, workplace, but also accidents, social security disability injuries. They have a track record of recovering over $1 billion for their clients, and they have won over 100,000 cases. They have 250 years of combined experience. How amazing is that? So you can check out Pond Lee Hockey Giordano at pondleehockey.com slash lcbodycam, or you can pick up the phone and call them at 833-669-4043. All right, let's get back to the body cam. Switching from high-speed chases to a foot chase, where police in Dayton, Ohio, track down a wanted suspect. Where's it at? No, that's all right. Back in the, back. the suspect is a real chicken, nicknamed Virginia by police. Officers say they've received calls about the animal chasing people. They arrived on the scene to apprehend the suspect. 
About 30 seconds into the body cam video, the responding officer first gets eyes on the suspect. You see him? Is it a rooster? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, that's a rooster. When the officer approaches at a walk, the suspect runs off. But after that narrow escape, the officer zeroes in on the chicken again. And this time, the chicken is backed into a corner. But just like that, the chicken is on the run again, besting the officer for a second time. Come here. The officer doesn't give up, though. He continues the chase at a run, but soon slows to a walk, lulling the suspect into a false sense of security. The suspect picks it back up into a run, and just when the officer thinks he's finally caught it, the chicken breaks free once again. For a few seconds, the chase is back up to a run. And just when we think the chase will never end, the officer gets his hands on the wanted suspect. As is customary, after an arrest, the suspect is put in the back seat of the officer's squad car. Thank you. Reporting for Long Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie.